So it got up early t this morning. I really want to finish planting. Uh, that is the goal. And I want to put all my stuff away. What the heck is that? So, I know this is not the most efficient thing to do to unhook this, but I I got the Steiger back, and I really want to test it out, just to make sure that nothing's wrong with it. So, I figure I'm going to hook it up to the planner quickly, because otherwise I really don't have a job for it till fall when it gets put on the grain cart. So, I think I want to make sure it's good to go before we get too far into fall and summer. So, I'm going to unhook this. There's so much uh, hoses and connections you got to do when you're unhooking a planter like this. I know it's definitely wasting time, but I figure it's a good test for the Steiger. So we, I'll put this over here, so I want to wash everything off before I put it away. There we go. And the Steiger, I put it away here. So, got it back. Cost me 20000 to get it back. So, everything looks good so far with it. Uh, it was running good, pulling the fertilizer spreader back. Uh, now I'm just going to unhook the fertilizer spreader and hopefully get it hooked up to the planter. I'm hoping all my connections and everything. We are going from John Deere to Case here. At least it starts up nicely. Unhook this. Alright, all the connections undone. So, I know a lot of people's we're wondering how in the heck did you uh, flip this Steiger and basically I believe it flipped primarily because our fertilizer spreader was extremely top-heavy and that basically just uh, flipped it over for it uh, it didn't really flip it it just uh, rolled it to the side if that makes sense so I guess it was just enough weight to just flip it over towards its side. And it wasn't really that violent of a uh, twist. It wasn't really that violent of a accident. That's why uh, it was so cheap to get it fixed. Now it's ready to go again. So this is its first big test on a John Deere planter. I know it's a Steiger on a planter, but we have. One field left to plant. Mission is to get that done today. So it's our southern field. It's our furthest away from our uh, house here. So I'm going to start heading that way. First off, I'm going to fill it up with seed here quickly. And then uh, once that's done, so I don't have to take these down. I really. I'm thinking one fill up will be enough for this. Oh, and I forgot. I gotta change this planter to soybeans. So this field will just be soybeans. We'll have uh, three fields of corn, a field of oats, a field of alfalfa, and two fields of soybeans. So we have a fairly big farm here in Nebraska. Let's just say that. I'm going to be on the lookout for another uh, harvester because uh, I won't be able to get it done with one, so have to be on the lookout. So basically, I just need to change these seed boxes Put it down, and I should be ready for soybeans. And of course, I uh, already blew this out, so shouldn't have any corn seed left in it. Alright, so we're ready. We're going to head on down. This is Prue Town here. So this field over here we got planted. While well, you guys, I didn't videotape that, but we uh, planted this field and the field in front of that. So them fields are planted now. This field is soybeans, the other field is corn. 
Uh, we did get that field over there. We finished up planting. I wonder. Sure does look like they broke down over there. Maybe I'll have to bring the case over so it can uh, help them finish planting. So as long as we don't get a call by somebody wanting us to uh, custom plant for them or anything, the goal is to plant this field and then put, put all of our uh, planter equipment away. That is the goal. Don't know if that's going to happen as long as we don't have a breakdown, as long as this uh, tractor is running good. So, of course, just like every Nebraska town, you can just drive your uh, big old tractor and equipment to Phillips 66 gas station and get you a cop. Oh, man. They're closed. Man, none of these businesses are ever open. Shoot, really was looking forward to some uh, coffee. I'm going to have to get my own coffee maker or something. Uh-oh, we got the train coming by. We'll have to stand by for it here quickly. I don't see the train. Is the train coming? Oh, I guess I forgot to put my uh, hazards on here. I put them on, make sure. Looks like uh, Jake wrecked his tractor over there or something. I don't know what the heck is going on. Looks like he's definitely behind on planting. Only have a few more days to plant. Hopefully, either he uh, asks us to help him out or something. So we got to the field here. Uh, we do have lime on top of this. Uh, we're just going to use the no-till planter to incorporate it in just because we're so far behind. You see off there in the distance, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like Jake's uh, tractor over there is stuck in the ditch. This is also kind of a unique field. Uh, it has a ditch running through it. We are going to go a little ways and just make sure that we are uh, the planters set right for soybeans again. And of course, we're going to shut off our uh, hazards. Alright, so. I don't hear any air leaks, not getting any alarms on the monitor. Let's see, looks like our uh, seed placement's good, our depth's good. All right, let's get this planted. So I'm planting around this little uh, ditch here, I guess. So it has a little bit of pond here. So. Uh, it's just a little waterway we make just because this is usually uh, fertile ground because it's too wet to plant so that way uh, helps with uh, soil erosion and everything it's, tractors doing fairly good uh, I don't know it seems like it's a little bouncy compared to the 8400 so John Deere was definitely a smoother ride than this this is a little bouncy John Deere I always like the John Deere controls a little bit more in this case I just think it's a little bit more uh, functionality in their controls but case isn't bad you have all your controls basically in one hand right, this is gonna be a hard turn to make Uh, right now this uh, tractor is pulling this really easy so this thing is got plenty of horsepower for this planter obviously so doesn't even have as much horsepower as our John Deere it's just uh, it's their s smallest Steiger but for our farm I think it's about adequate size we don't need to burn off all that gas just for uh, the extra horsepower like the most expensive thing when you're driving 
a tractor in the farm, so to me, uh, gas economy is uh, one of the most important things I look at when I'm purchasing a tractor. Almost have our last of our headlands done, so I don't do many headlands with the Steiger here because that's one thing about these articulating tractors, they will turn sharp. That is for sure. Yeah, so I, I don't know, I might not use this for planting again. Just because this is awful bouncy in the cab, so I'm not particularly fond of that. And I just think uh, when you're using a regular tractor like the 8400R, it's it's just more convenient when you're pulling a planter with that than a articulating tractor. So I drove around the drone a little bit there. So hopefully you guys like that little photo. Uh, we are about half done with this field. Uh, it's going very quickly. So I think we will have uh, enough time to clean everything up. Uh, clean out all the sea containers, uh, the fertilizer tenders, the sea tenders. Uh, clean out the cabs in here. Uh, it's always it's always a ruckus when right after planting because everything gets cluttered, everything gets dirty, especially with monster cans all over the place. You know, energy drinks, uh, food wrappers, all that unhealthy stuff. We are not healthy when it comes to planting. Let's just say that. But. This should be our last field in case somebody needs help around here. Looks like Jake might be calling anytime, but I'm still gonna plan on uh, putting everything away just because uh, I don't want to uh, hold on till later and then have to do it. Yeah, we are over halfway done with this field now. So we uh, finally got around basically majority of that waterway or the big uh, pond in the middle of this uh, field this isn't a big field but shouldn't this is probably some of our best ground to be honest even though it's located a ways from our farm so this is actually closer to Jake's house than it is our house oh well not a big deal So we only went around that waterway, so that wasn't that hard. Uh, 
This field is basically flat. Most of the fields around here are basically flat. So there are a few waterways. Looks like we are going to miss a little sliver. Not going to come back and get that just because I don't think it will be feasible. Actually, alright. Oh, is that going to be the whole way down the field? That is going to bother me. What the heck, GPS? Stupid GPS. I'm going to blame GPS. I'm a millennial. I don't know how to use my uh, roll markers there. Oh well, so I guess that, that'll be for the deer to lay down in, I guess. Not a big deal, so looks like about one row. Not worth us uh, pulling a 24 row planter to plant. We're gonna blame just GPS and not us at all. I think I could get it in probably three more rows. Three more passes at least. All right, so now GPS is do is back on par, not missing a little strip there. I don't even know if that's really one row. It's basically a half row. It looks like I slightly got off, so GPS can make uh, faults too. That's that's why a lot of farmers still use the ridge markers or the row markers up there. So. We still have them on this planter, but we aren't using them basically because we got GPS. Uh, we only sometimes use them when GPS goes down. There's something easy about driving through the field, not have to drive down the, the long rows. So you can uh, play on your phone, watch YouTube videos. I heard this guy named uh, Squad Farm is pretty good. You can watch his videos. And, I like watching him. He's alright. I even watch this guy named Squad once in a while too. Kinda cool. It's kinda nifty. They have a escape hatch over this window. Though it would be kinda hard because it looks like you have to fit right about there to get through it. So I guess you can turn the seat so then I guess you can kinda dive out right there if you have to. We didn't end up having to use that. We we able to basically roll out that door when we uh, flip this on its side. But as for this tractor and running and everything, it's running awesome. So looks like uh, there's no after effects from the roll. Other than I think the suspension might still be a little bit off. Seems like it. And the GPS might have took a little uh, uh, banging around because it did leave that roll, so never know. So Austin's place, if you didn't know, is right there to the side of us, pretty right in front of us, right there. Uh, you can kind of see the building outlines over there. Oh man, don't you hate when that happens? Looks like I have to go down with a 24 row planter and finish planting this remaining two rows. So then two rows will be the last two rows I have to plant this year. So I was wrong. I have three rows left over there. So all the other rows are on shut off, but still have to run all the way down here what it is I'm so glad to be done I can start eating healthy again not have to drink so many monsters in the field not have to try to stay awake not trying to hold my eyes open pinch the middle of my thighs just to stay awake them are not easy days that's for sure and we are done. All right, so we will fold this old girl up now. This folds kind of slow, so I'm gonna make sure nothing's gonna bind or anything out here.
we go. Alright. Turn our hazards on. Go home. After the shop cleaned this up all nice, now we got it all dirty again. Gonna have to clean this up. So, I don't know of much of a job we're gonna need for our big tractors. Of course, our 8400R is basically one of our loader tractors. Uh, I don't really have a smaller tractor. I am on the lookout for a few uh, smaller tractors just for use around the feedlot and the horses. Uh, I would like a small loader tractor. And yeah, small loader tractor. I need, I need a lot of equipment basically for the feedlot and the horses so that is kind of been on the back burner because I've been so focused on planting getting equipment for planting man would you believe it Philip 66 is still closed what is wrong with this town all right so I'm gonna pull this over I'm gonna pressure wash off all these tractors here so most of these tractors are not going to use. Might even get to taking the duels off of that uh, 8230. Man, is that dirty or what? So let's get this clean. And then I need to figure out exactly how I need to place all this equipment in here. All right, so I got all done with washing my equipment. I even brought this out to spray off. You don't want that fertilizer uh, rusting out your new uh, fertilizer spreader like that. So I pulled that out, gave it a secondary wash down just to make sure it's good. Uh, I think first I'm going to back this uh, into the shed, our, uh, our little drill here. Uh, probably put it in the corner right there and then uh, I'm going to take this out and put it into our garage there quickly. I know we have these big garages, but I don't have tools for them yet, so I end up having to uh, use my old garage over there on the side, but that's all right. Uh, I'm gonna park this, get this started. All right, so we are going to back this up, at least try to. Then I'm going to end up putting it in the shed because the uh, plan is to take the duels off right away. I don't want to, I want to be able to use this for uh, around the, the ranch over here. So maybe on a baler, maybe even on a swather that deems. It's a little bit big for it, but. We don't really have a small tractor, a little chore tractor, really. Alright, it's unhooked. Now I need, just need to drive this over to, yep, the my little uh, garage or my shop here. Not for sure where I'm going to put that fertilizer uh, trailer to. I need to park that somewhere. I'll probably just park it on with our uh, semi trailers all right so we won't get this to this today but maybe on a rainy day we will get that done I know horses I'm going to try to get something to feed you here fairly soon all right so hmm where do I want this looks I think I'll put the DB60 over here to the side right here if I can and then the fertilizer spreader right beside it that's the goal all right so this is gonna be kind of hard getting this turned over and not hitting that uh, spreader gotta turn it hard Ooh. Seems, that's why I don't really care for articulating tractors most of the time because it comes to chores like this is they are really hard to back up things that's for sure so we're gonna have to take another run at that there we go. all right now we 
just got to keep it straight back. There we go. Alright, now this should be good to unload or unhook. Oh man, I'm going to have to go around this side to unhook it. Alright, so we're unhooked now. So I'm going to probably put this... I, I, I've kind of put the tractors in this other shed over here. I don't know why, really. Park this old girl in here. And I don't know if that's going to be its uh, permanent summer home or not, but we will see. Okay, now I just need to back this up. Start this old girl up. Make sure we don't hit the Honda over there. Don't want to... Not to hit the Honda. That's a goal. It's like that thing is magnetized or something. Man, this is like the fifth time I'm backing this up. Can't see back there and this thing just doesn't turn right. There we go. Finally. Got it through that door. He's having a heck of a time doing that. Go. This thing right over here. This thing looks giant by this planter. Yeah, straighten it out so my OCD is okay. Hit a little bit. Alright. Now that should be good to unhook there. Now we will go park this quickly. Uh, we won't put the loader on it just yet, but just in case we have to replant or something like that. Uh, yeah, we'll just park this right over here. There we go. All right, that's parked, and yeah. Shut these doors over here, and then I just have to uh, perk both of my fertilizer tenders. I think we're about done. Gotta go park this here quickly. The equipment shuffle, that's what we're doing right now. Oh, oh, took that turn hard. So, alright, so I'm plan on putting this by the other gooseneck over here. Yeah, right over there by our trash containers. We'll back this old girl up all the way. Not try to hit her. Oh. Man. I sure do ding up all my sheds around here, don't I? have much room on either side of this that's for sure so it has to be almost perfect just uh, take this up to the house here quickly then we just we'll have to walk down go get our uh, seed tender put away and I think we will be done all right so that is backed up there now Alright, so everything is put away so you guys can get off my back now. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.